this is Kevin Yako again bringing you uh, another lesson in jazz piano technique. This is part two of the tutorial my original deplorable dance um, African influenced uh, uh, blues jazz and um, it's in the key of B flat um, and like I said I'll use it as a vehicle to show you guys how to stay in tradition and then have your own concept as well. Uh, for those who want private lessons, remember to check, uh, check me out at kbinyakomusic.com or email me at kbinyakomusic at gmail.com. Also, I do have some of my um, videos which are available for my private students, available on my YouTube uh, channel. Just go to the playlist and select paid uh, tutorials. Okay, These are in-depth videos that would really help you playing. Okay, so let's get right into it. First, I'm going to go over the chords I use. So it's a blues, like I said, which means it's in B-flat. We have the um, B-flat 7, E-flat 7, back to B-flat 7, right? We have a, it's a 12-bar blues. So we have the E-flat 7, back to B-flat 7. And then we have the 5, F7. Uh, E flat seven and then B flat seven. So those are the chords of the left hand. But I do a rhythmic um, uh, like a device on it. So let's go to the chords I use on my right hand. We have a B flat thirteen, right? It's thirteen because uh, we pass the seven. So we have a dominant seven, B flat, the ninth C D, and then the G, the thirteenth. All right. All with the B flat against the B flat. So that's the first chord. Next chord, I do the same thing. It's an E flat 13. Again with the dominant 7, 9, uh, third, and then 13. And back to B flat. Then we have the last chord. So we have the F. And what I do there, we have a F6. So we have the 6, the dominant 7, the 9th, and the 5th. That's how I voice it. And then instead of go to the E flat, my left hand is going on E flat, but my right hand is playing a, a D flat seventh, right? With the seventh on top, I mean on the bottom. And then back to the B flat 13, okay? And that's how I vary it. But again, I'm staying in the blues feel, okay? Um, the rhythm is very simple. I start from the root. Root, fourth, fifth, seventh, and root. Back to root, okay? Okay, very simple. And that's the rhythm I use. Again, it's 12 8, so how I like to count it is to do 3 4. So 1 2 3 1. So 1 2 3, 1 2 3, 1 2 3, 1 2 3. And that's how you get a 12 8 notes, right? 1 2, and then you count it that way. And then you play those 13 chords against that. So, and that's the head, right? Okay. the form for the song okay now after you uh, break you can take the solo on the B flat blues so again we're staying in the jazz form and the blues form okay so let me play that move to the from E to the E flat a little chromatic movement there the solos now. So you get the idea. That's the gist of the song. Now I was talking about influence. So now, although that sounds perfectly new, there are a lot of jazz 
artists that did similar things. Uh, if you look at Senor Blues by Horace Silver or any of Horace Silver's songs, he usually has a kind of an African feel to it where he he has a bass line going and then the right hand going. He does a lot of motive, uh, motive work, which is to move an idea from, you know, whole step or half steps. Um, if you look at the blues and, you know, kind of soul blues, you can listen to Bobby Timmons. Uh, there's uh, uh, Bud Powell, all these people. And also even, um, uh, you know, uh, if you listen to McCoy Tyner, you can pick up certain uh, blues uh, elements from that uh, as well. Um, or, and if it comes to time, how to, you know, vary a time, a good person to listen to is Dave Brubeck. You know, he does the uh, take five and all these uh, weird time signatures. And it's a great way to bring your own experience to it. I listen to a lot of African music, so I bring that experience to that, and I listen to a lot of Randy Weston, who tries to uh, combine African and jazz uh, genres together also, okay? So again, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this is Deplorable Dance Again, Part 2. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos, and thank you for subscribing. <laughs>